Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Dara Sloan, your official partner to content creator for Expansive World. Before we hop into the top five week two update, guys, please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. And when you hit that notify bell, make sure to put all notifications so you get the notifications for these videos and for when I go live. Please remember as we go through the leaderboards, that Dale Boy updates this usually on Thursday evenings. So if you have turned anything in after he updated it, then it will be in next week's video. But anyway, grab a cousin, grab a baby, grab a first cousin once removed, a mamma, a dog, pet. Tell them to get over here and drop a free sub. All right, guys, we will start out on Golden Ridge with the black crappie, number one black crappie, Miss Marie. 2.75 pounds. We're going to go down here to the bluegill, the elusive bluegill. Jivers, 1.90 pounds. Brook trout, kern dog, 8.30 pounds. Burbot, W Cannon, 18.20 pounds. Channel catfish, buckeye fan, 26.39 pounds. Cutthroat Trout, Dad's a psycho, burning it up this season. He's out for blood. 14.89 pounds. Golden Trout, yours truly, 10.27 pounds. Feels good to be on the leaderboard. Green Sunfish, Del Boy, 1.30 pounds. That's a monster. Kokanee Salmon, Jim Pay, 5.83 pounds. Lake Trout, Dad's a Psycho, 50.66 pounds. Look at those 50 pounders. Largemouth Bass, Del Boy, 10.82 pounds. While I'm at it, I challenge anyone on Spain to try to find a 10 pound largemouth bass. I caught a 9.90 pounder uh, last night, actually. Does the 10 pounder on Spain exist? Mountain Whitefish, R. Lewis, 4.16 pounds. Northern Pike, CLK Ace, 26.42 pounds. Orid Trout, Dad's a Psycho, 13.87 pounds. Rainbow Trout, Outdoor Reels, 21.68 pounds. Sauger, W Cannon, 6.69 pounds. Shovel Nose Sturgeon, Kern Dog, 10.17 pounds. Smallmouth Bass, Pocket Kitty. 6.52 pounds. Tiger Muskie, Kern Dog, 29.25 pounds. Walleye, J Rob, 17.08 pounds. Yellow Perch, Precedent Word, 2.26 pounds. Rock Bass, Kern Dog, 3.02 pounds. Freshwater Drum, Spider Stings, 38.56 pounds. White crappie cane break, 4.31 pounds. We don't have Goldstein yet. Big Larry, we've got Dad's a Psycho, 72,724 points caught on an 11 pound line. So if you catch yours on an 11 pound line, guys, the way these legendaries work, you would have to, in order to have first place, the tiebreaker goes to the time. You see how long it took Dad's a Psycho to catch him. Or her right there on the 11 pound line. Sidewinder, sled junkie, 111, 778,000. 22 pounds, 46 minutes. All right, guys, Troll Spore it. Yuri was right with the biggest Arctic char at 24.11 pounds. Asp, Doug has the biggest with 24.88 pounds. Atlantic Salmon, liquid, 63.80 pounds. What a monster. And mine is knocked all the way down to fifth place. Jeez, I'm Pete. Bream, J-Rob with the 20. All of them are 20 pounders. Man, I never saw 20 pounds. I, they had to make them a little bigger. 20.71 pounds. Brown Trout, rather be fishing, JP. 37.42 pounds. Look how much bigger the brown trout get over here on Norway. Burbot, Blaine the Pain, 18.28 pounds. Bullhead Catfish, Amy the Huntress, 7.71 pounds. 
I'm hanging in there barely with 7.13. Chubb, Blaine the Pain, 8.56 pounds. Grayling J Rob, 6.28 pounds. European Perch, Dad's a Psycho at 6.60 pounds. I'd, I'd rather be fishing. Darth Sloan, 10. 0.75 pounds. Holding on to that number one spot there. Northern Pike, R. Lewis, 48.27 pounds. Roach, Big Ross Tequila, 4.39 pounds. I've been tackling those lately, and those are not easy to come by. Xander, Doug, 26.38 pounds. And I'm hanging in there at third. Xander. Alpine Bullhead, Pocket Kitta, 0.33 pounds. European Bullhead, Dale Boy, 0.34 pounds. Common Dace, Darth Cam, 22, 2.74 pounds. Rough, Dale Boy, 0.35 pounds. Now we go down to Store Henrik. Five pound line seems to be pretty popular, but Sumo caught theirs in 25.5. 38 minutes so the tiebreaker goes to sumo as he uh, beat the other five pound lines with the time so that's where that goes kpd gunner just 59,140 points 15 pound line 39 minutes spiel fin sled junkie 49,486 points 33 pound line 10 minutes and now we go over to spain J Rob with the biggest and delusion barbel, 8.21 pounds. Brown trout, guys, look here. Yours truly, 10.83 pounds. The top brown trout. Camiso barbel, hanging on barely in fifth place here. R. Lewis, 36.79 pounds. Common carp, Blaine the Pain, 70.8. Five, two pounds. Crucian cart, big Rasta killer, 4.06 pounds. And you see the tiebreaker there as it was a little bit longer than cane breaks. European eel, nobody. No takers on the European eel. All right, I know one of the one of the ones will be going after this week if uh, if things hold up like this. Largemouth Bass, yours truly, Darth Sloan, 9.90 pounds, and what a stream last night. Fishing with Dar uh, Dad and, and, and my boys, I caught another one that was 9.73 pounds that would have been first place, but we'll stick the 9.90 pound. And then down here to the mirror carp, cane break, 53.78 pounds. We're going to be going after some northern pike this week, too, because we don't have any on the leaderboard as well. Everybody likes to go for them over on Norway. All right, pumpkin seed, Dale Boy, 1.54 pounds. Has a little bit better score. This is why you use that lighter line, guys. Dale Boy gets the tiebreaker. They were both the same length. So then it goes to score, and Del Boy used a lighter line, looks like, than Jim Pay did. A lot of times I'm just too lazy to go change my line, but you can see right there, that's where it pays off. You get the you get the tiebreaker. Roach, we got MLF Harold, 4.29 pounds. Rudd, we've got Kawakoa, 6.18 pounds. Daggone it, Jim. Del Boy, I told you not to put that one in. I slipped down to third. I'm just kidding. Tinch. Yuri was right. 12.59 pounds. We got a little tie, so it comes all the way over here to the points, and we see Yuri used a lighter line. All right. Thick lip mullet. Ray B Dog, 7.66 pounds. Thin lip mullet. Dad's a psycho, 6.87 pounds. Xander over here on Spain. J Rob, 25.54 pounds. Wells Catfish, Dad's a Psycho, 153.81 pounds. That's a monster. Uh, La Monstrica Sumo with 24,336 points. And then we have El Matador Kern Dog, 54,318 points. Alejandro Magno, we've got Jim Pay, 27,247 
points. I've not tackled any of the legendaries this season yet. All right, South Africa, the last map, guys, and then we will look at the overall standings. We've got Dumb Gone Girl with the biggest smallmouth bass on South Africa at 6.97 pounds. That one needs some attention. She's the only one that has submitted yet. So I know three fish I'm targeting this week. Spotted Bass, Dumb Gone Girl, 10.73 pounds. Red Breast Kerber, Big Ross Tequila, 3.85 pounds. African Sharp Tooth Catfish Cane Break, 75.79 pounds. African Tigerfish, TSM Hook, 31.46 pounds. Canary Kerber, J Rob, 2.09 pounds. And the Mogul, Andy's Arcade, 6.29 pounds. Grass Carp, I'm hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit. Cane Break, 63.65 pounds. Common Carp, Big Ross Tequila, 62.04 pounds. Mirror Carp, Cane Break, 56.76 pounds. African Model to Eel, Blame the Pain, 15.07 pounds. And then yours truly, right under him there. Uh, Blue Kerper, Kern Dog, 7.92 pounds. And I've got knocked down again, 7.54 pounds on Blue Kerper. Purple Labeo mixed with the 10.25 pounder. That's another one we need to target. I did a little bit, didn't have too much luck. Red Nose Labeo, Dumb Gone Girl, 7.71 pounds. Large Mouth Yellowfish. I'm hanging in like a hair on a biscuit right there on that one too. Big Ross to kill a 47.48 pounds. Smallmouth yellowfish, R. Lewis, 20.99 pounds, and we need a fifth. So we got some fish to target this week. I think it's going to be filled completely up by next week. But anyway, let's look at the Angler of the Year standings. I've not done too good a job over here on Golden Ridge. I have like one top fish, and that's about it. But we got the look at Golden Ridge top 10 W Cannon at number one right now. Troll Sport Reserve, J. Rob. Edging out Doug and Dad just barely right there. I'm down to ninth on Trosport. Spain, I'm up to third place here on Spain. Uh, well, tied with Dad and Jim Pay. And we are looking at uh, J Rob. Once again, the top dude over on Spain. Now, South Africa, we're looking at Big Ross to kill a, And then I'm all the way down. And eighth spot. Now, overall standings for the Angler of the Year as we speak. Look at Dad's Asaka with a commanding lead 91 points over Big Ross to kill his 69 points. Then J Rob at 68. R. Lewis at 56. Jim Pay at 50. Kern Dog at 45. Dale Boy at 43. Myself at 40. Sumo at 39, Blaine the Pain at 39. So we've got plenty of fish out there to target this week, guys. Good luck to you. Can't wait to see this fill up. Tell your friends how fun this is. It runs until December 31st. And remember, we are no longer accepting trophies past a week old from the recent harvest screen. So if Dale Boy looks at it when it's submitted and the date that it's submitted and you submitted it eight days later, it's not accepted. So anyway, guys, gets updated on Thursday evenings usually or Friday mornings, but I always do the video, you know, early on Friday mornings around 8, 9 a.m. And so if yours wasn't in here, then it's because you turned yours in just a little bit too late and it hadn't been updated yet so it will be in next week's unless as long as it's still one of the bigger ones next week but anyway guys thank you so much for watching my name is dar sloan tell your friends get them involved guys there's a lot of competitions out there I'll tell you what pooch does a great job pooch always has something going on cjo the hunter always has something going on with the angler there's a lot of fun competitions going on out there king of the catch over in the official angler, anglers discord that's always a fun one to go for too but i gotta say and i might be a little bit biased here my top five in my opinion my humble opinion 
is the funnest thing out there because there's not, not really a time constraint on it. It goes all the way to December 31st and you're chasing that angler of the year. Like it just add, I, I don't know. There's just something about it makes it unique and I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you all for helping put it together and give me these ideas and Dale boy. Thank you for all the editing you do on this guys get involved. It's growing and it's a lot of fun. But the best thing about it is the replay value that it adds to the game. You guys have an awesome one. We will catch you in the next one.